Are Dollar Tree items worth your $1.25? In today's video, we're gonna be testing some Dollar Tree toy items that I have recently found in some of my Dollar Tree Shop With Me's. And we're gonna find out if they are worth your $1.25 or not. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Let's test some Dollar Tree products. So many new things to try, you guys. This one definitely caught my eye. Somebody sent this to me, a picture on Instagram, and when I found it, I just thought, oh, I need to try and see how it works. So this is the tool table. So this is for ages two and up. There's four pieces in here. Careful when you open this packaging because there are some staples on the pack. Probably aren't good for the little ones. Looks like these are fixed into the tool table. These turn and they make a clacking sound, and these push. So when you push one, the other one pops up. So these are stuck on there. Those are not coming off. You do have the three holes here and that is where you can put your extra screw. And then you have a screwdriver and a hammer. Oh, I guess you can hammer this. All right, that's cool. So you can hammer these and then the screwdriver that you can use here. Yep, and you can click each one of those. Then you got this extra spare one here. Let's see if it goes into the bench here. I'll turn it to the side so you can see it better. It is going in. So there's one that's actually working. I do wish it came with the three because that would be a lot of fun. Put that one in and you can remove that one by doing some screwing motion with your hands, which is amazing for fine motor. So some downfalls of this is that the other ones don't come off and then you don't get extra ones for this, but you do get two different tools and some cool functions here. Definitely think this is worth it. $1.25 for sure. Thumbs up. It's three memory card matching game. 58 pieces in here. Comes in a little bag. It's not resealable, so that's kind of a shame. They used to make them where they were resealable. Reseal let's see what this one comes with. Three different game boards. Okay, so let's look at the game boards first. I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting no game boards. So they give you a game board. This looks like volcano with dinosaur eggs, maybe. Oh, this one is a mermaid theme. Under the sea theme with some seashells and a mermaid tail and then one more okay this one we've got a rainbow cupcakes shooting stars then we have our stack of cards well, there's no other further instructions so i'm assuming it's just a plain old memory game so we have oh there are three decks of cards okay so we got this one this one's the mermaid each card back matches the mat that you use with it. Clever. And then here are the instructions. And it looks like it's just your traditional memory game. So here's the mermaid set. We got mermaids, seahorses, clam and oyster, fish, jellyfish, another mermaid, another mermaid, starfish, and a shell. Then this one is our unicorn set. So unicorn, cupcakes, stars, ice cream cones, rainbows, and donuts. <laughs> so cute. And then this one, our dinosaur theme. So we have different different dinosaurs, eggs, volcano, palm trees, feet, and even skeletons. That's pretty cute. Definitely think this is a pretty good value because you get the three in one. I wasn't expecting that. Either way, this is a really great value. The cards are great quality. I like using cards like this for doing storytelling where you pick one and you make a story based on the card and go progressive on that. And then the next person pick another card and do another story. You could mix all the cards together for this and a great travel game too. So I'd have to say this one was a very surprising thumbs up for the quality and the quantity that comes with it. Here we have have one of the magnetic activity sets. Now there is actually several different styles of these in the store right now. I chose the Spider-Man one, but I believe they had Minnie Mouse. They had probably Gabby's Dollhouse, I think is a really popular one. Maybe even the Jurassic Park one. So let's open this up. I do like the tins because they're a great little travel take and go item. And you know, I like those, especially because I used to do those restaurant kits all the time and that just flew everywhere. So I think I have reviewed a similar one before in the past, but this might be like a new version of it. So we have our magnets here, which are all Spider-Man related themes. There's two sheets of those. Give you a little instruction book that tells you how to play with it, which I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So you can use this side of the tin, which has nothing, or you can use this side that has the scene. In this case, it's Spider-Man, so it's like a city scene. And let's see if it actually works. Spider-Man out, put him in. Does he fall off? No. He sticks. Sometimes with these kits, the characters don't stick. And so that's problematic to me, but this one actually works. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it actually looks to be a pretty good quality. There were two different games at Dollar Tree. Now in a past Dollar Tree test, I showed the same brand. It's the brand, What Do You Meme? And they make these little card games. And they had a road trip one and like a, a question and answer one, I think. And they're all full size name brand games that have 
ended up in the Dollar Tree for some reason. And there's two more. So this one is Puzzle Vision and this one's better than yesterday. So let's look at Puzzle Vision. These are games that are meant for adults. This one says it's for 17 years of age and older. An adult party game it says. And you're supposed to solve picture puzzles. I'm not going to go into the whole explanation of the game but I am going to look at the contents. Last time I did a review on these I gave them a thumbs up because they were a really great value. So these are kind of like where they have the pictures. Easy, medium, hard levels it looks like. And you have to figure out what, there's a little timer there, what the picture means by looking at it. And then they put the answer on the back. So we look at this one. We have a person doing yoga and it looks like a storm cloud. And so you get a clue which is on the back and the clue is moment to breathe. And you have to figure out what this says. So if you can't, there is an answer on the back. It's calm before the storm. This one is, I believe this one's side hustle. Yes, yeah, side hustle. Work, 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 work. This is not safe for work. Affection road sign sign of affection a oh, public display of affection <laughs> I think this is an excellent value. So if you find this at Dollar Tree, don't pass it up. Pick it up because you're going to have a really fun game night. And I definitely knew this was going to be a thumbs up. So it was a given because this is a pretty popular brand. Let's look at the other one just to get an idea of what comes inside. This one's called Better Than Yesterday. It's recommended for ages 16 and up. One or more players. This is a little bit different. It's 365 daily challenges. So there are cards in here to challenge yourself to do something. It's kind of a feel good card game. Get two stacks of cards. Let's see what's in one stack to give you some ideas of what is in here. This game was set up to help spread positivity and to better your life. These are all numbered too, so you can do 365, one a day. This says, better than yesterday, number 183. No swearing for the next 24 hours. It says, exercise self-control and reserve your energy for positive people and experiences. So each card represents one day, you get a theme, and then something to try to better yourself. I love their, their cards card forms you can take it with you throughout the day to remind yourself fun office gift too great conversation starter you can do it alone or with a group excellent excellent for $1.25 you guys that is amazing I might need to pick up some more of these for gifts at my store this little guy was so cute it's a pet spa this one came in the blue with the cat and I think the pink actually came with a dog this says that there's 11 pieces in here and it has a little carrying case which I love tell me that it's not adorable so it looks like a little backpack like a pet backpack and you can see the little animal inside. Look, even though it has a handle on the top too. All right, so you open that and then the sides open up. <laughs> Tell me that's not cute. Here's your little pet, but he's stuck on there. I guess you could take him off if you wanted to. Oh, I see. Look, pop him right off. If you want him to sit on there, then you can put, put him right back on. And then inside we have all the accessories. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a little feeding bowl, feeding tray. This is a sign. Basket. Oh, that looks like a, a bowl. This must be the bath. This is the pet spa. Some scissors. A hair dryer and looks like another little tray. Looking at the picture, it looks like we can put our pet back on here and there's little spots to hook. Yeah, there we go. Our different parts of our pet spa in. Okay, so I popped the back in there and that's to hang your scissors. Okay, I guess you can put your basket over here according to the picture. <laughs> so cute, a little spa. And then we have our hair dryer and then our bowl so that our pet can eat. For $1.25, that is stinking cute, you guys. A little play set, I would recommend getting both. That's a lot of fun. And then I guess you can just pop it all back in there when you want to store it. Nice. You guys, this is getting a thumbs up for sure. We have the shrink and play kits. These came in several different styles too, as some of the other things I'm showing you today. The one I picked up was Stitch because we are a Stitch lover, but they did have several different options. So let's open it. I'm excited to see what we got here. We are shrink art fans in our house, so I thought this might be fun to try out. Here are our stands. This is what you use to hold up your characters after you shrink them. Then we have some scenes. This is like a nighttime beach scene with some pineapples and palm trees. We have sunshine and rainbow in the beach scene and then you fold it in. So these are pre-colored for you. So these are already done. You just pop them in the oven to shrink them. So we have Lilo, a surfboard and a ukulele. And then we have a stitch. Oh my gosh, a couple of different stitches. The one with the ice cream is just adorable. Here are the pieces to stand up our play scene. And it looks like it's a wave to make it look three-dimensional. So you can put your characters and pretend like they're surfing on the ocean, which is really, really cute. Okay, so we have to shrink these down to check them out and um, see how they do. Oh, look, and even give you some instructions which is 
really, really nice. 325 oven or toaster oven, don't microwave, and one to three minutes. So we went ahead and put these into our oven and watched them shrink, which is absolutely the fun part. So make sure you watch that process happen. And when they're done, you have these little characters that you can pop into the stand, use them in your placings and pretend that you are in Lilo and Stitch. Super adorable and fun. The only thing that I would recommend or would ask is that we were allowed to color them and fill them in, but it was still fun to have this whole set. So we get another thumbs up. This whole video had some really great finds. Just recently I did another Dollar Tree Toy Test products. Gonna put that up here on the screen for you to watch next. I'll see you over there. Make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.